Alrighty guys, so looking at the PowerPoint associated with ecology. Ecology is the study of relationships among organisms and their environment. So that we start out with always the smallest level of organization, the organism. So that's what you're gonna choose for your project, is the individual living thing that is a non-human. Now, that organism will interact with its population, which is more of the same type of organism. So the example that I talked about with bees is more bees. Then it's gonna interact with its community. And so in terms of the example that I use, that would be the bee and the wasp. So even though they are against each other, even though one of them is predating the other, it is still an interaction between different species. Then you have to consider the ecosystem itself. So the ecosystem is going to include all the organisms, the bees and the wasp, and then ultimately it's going to include the bi other biotic and abiotic factors. So climate is an abiotic factor because it's non-living. Soil is an abiotic factor because it's non-living. Okay, so whenever you're considering all these different things associated with an ecosystem and why all those factors are important, it really boils down to whether it's a biotic or an abiotic factor. In terms of biomes, we'll talk more about biomes later on as well as biosphere. But when we're talking about biotic and bi abiotic factors, I really want you to consider and really look around what is important about that environment. So taking a look at this picture, you can tell that there are several different types of biotic and abiotic factors. So in my, or in your presentation, I asked you for three different types of biotic and abiotic factors. And so if you take a look at this picture, can you come up with three different biotic and abiotic factors? All right, let's see whether or not you're able to do that. So three abiotic factors, this one's pretty easy could be the water, the rocks, the sunlight. It looks like it's in a fairly cold climate because of the snow that exists. So those are four different abiotic factors that I came off, uh, I, I thought of right off the bat. Now, in terms of biotic factors, so living things that you see. So it could be this grass that's growing, this shrubbery in the background, this tree that we have up here. So all different types of, ab of biotic factors that we can consider. Not only that, but this is also a body of water. And what's in a body of water? All different types of things. We're talking about macro and micro invertebrates, and not only that, but fish as well.